So welcome to part. Sorry about that. Welcome to part two of Saturday's vlog, and Maya is already up to section two of her hair, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So tell them. Part two is once you're done with the whole um waterfall braid. If you want, like as you can see, like she has the little bumps there. You could like tug, tug on them. See, and then it makes it like all even and stuff. And then. Um, what I did is that I got this, instead of going around the whole thing, I just went from there, I just went from the front to the back. And now, I'm going to start a regular three-stranded braid. And you can stop wherever, you can stop now, or later, or whatever. Like, once I get here... Once you get here, you're going to want to get um, a, a, like a rubber band. Like you can use one of these or one of the tinier ones. Doesn't really matter. You're going to get it. I prefer if you use like tinier ones, but I don't have those today. You're going to get it and you're going to like wrap it around the braid. Sorry, it's taking kind of long because this is like big and the strand is like tiny. So yeah, you're gonna have it there. You finish. And then, once you're done, you're gonna let it all fall. See, she has um, she has all of her hair. Stand up. All right. Now you're gonna get the um, a knotting brush and you're gonna start like unknotting the bottoms too. So. There is that waterfall braid. And see, if you want to, if you want, you could like put some hairspray or mousse or whatever. Whatever I, you I'm want. I'm going to use mousse to like let it be flat. That's about how things. much you should use. Yeah, you should use like only like a little bit, not a lot. You're going to take it and you're going to put mousse all over the hair to keep it comfortable and tight. Mm -hmm. Don't try to get it on the braid. Because then it's going to kind of mess up. And then another thing if you want, if you don't want to leave the braid just hanging there, you could take your hair. She has really long hair. You could, you could take the braid, hold the um, hold um, the pound of hair in your hand that you have left that is not in the braid, and tie the braid around it. And once you tie the braid around it, you're going to go like this. You're going to get one Stop. of the bobby pins. Yeah, open that for me. No. Bobby pins. You're going to get one of the bobby pins. Well, you're going to need a few of them. Not only one, but... And Shut! Is one. And then you're going to bobby pin it right from the back. So you can have like, a little ponytail in it. See? So now you have like a little ponytail with the waterfall. Or if not, you can take it out and you can have it regular. It doesn't really matter. But I prefer to put it in a ponytail so it could like be out your way and whatever. Just take a few bobby pins and bobby pin it in the back. And you're all done to go. All right. So, thank you guys for watching this Saturday's vlog. And this is Amaya's first tutorial. And hopefully, we'll be making more. Because, you know, she does really great hair. So, um, um, yeah. So, she's going to put some pictures up of the braid on her Google Plus channel. I mean, profile. Make sure you go check that out. And, um, um, yeah, that's it. So, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye.